Hello, Richard. Hello, Carol. Hi, John. Hello. Hi, Carol. Hi, Hi Vlo. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you very much. I've been Hello. looking forward to this for a while. Oh, same Great here. To see you. Our next, actually, our second live class, right? Exactly, exactly. Our second live class. Our last class was so much fun. And I have a feeling that this class is going to be even more For fun. Sure. Hello, Excellent. guys. True Learning, Richard, Ceci, Wesley. Let's, uh, I have just sent a message. So everybody can join us. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear I you. I can't hear you. Okay. <gasps> can you hear hey, me? Annalisa. Yeah. Okay, great. Anna Mary, do you wanna uh, do you wanna write it down? Blah. What the name we're of gonna the... talk about? Uh huh. Absolutely. Mary, Andressa, Ceci. Hello, Ceci. Samu, Samu Silva. How are you guys? So we're gonna talk today about songs, metaphors, and slangs. It's going to be awesome. Absolutely. Yes. I love learning Hello. with music. Same here. I really, really love it. But, you know, uh, we were talking about guys playing the guitar, but then I, I told Blo, I can't. I'm a beginner. I'm shy. <laughs> but you will, right? In the future, you're going to... I will. We're going to do a future. live. Great, great. Super. <laughs> with the guitar. With the and guitar. Then... That's okay. It's a great way for pronunciation as well, I think. When you're, when you're singing along with music, you yeah. can catch some words that maybe you couldn't if you, were, if you were speaking. Totally. And this is actually a very important thing to say when you sing along, right? Because uh -huh. sometimes sing together. No, it's not singing together. Because in English, in Portuguese, we say cantar junto. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Yeah, so Brazilian students, they say sing together with the song, something like this, and we okay. have to correct. It's singing along. Absolutely. Hello. Hi, Great. Andressa. Hey, guys, if you don't follow Bla, you gotta follow her here. So Bla is from Dublin, and we are gonna do that this live actually in English, okay? Uh -huh. Então a gente vai fazer essa live em inglês, né? Em, port... em inglês. Mas quem precisar de tradução, translation, é só pedir. Ok? Vamos lá? Let's start? Yes. Vocês têm que adivinhar. Gente, dá coração, please. Corações, corações, muitos corações na nossa live. Please, please guys. Hello, also, Emmanuel. Also, we need your help, guys. If you know what these metaphors mean, please help us. Help us describe, help us translate whatever we can do to make everything very clear. Okie dokie. So, our first song is a classic. I love this song. It's very, very lovely, just in general. Okie dokie. Yeah. So, it's The Wind Beneath My Wings. And, Carol, can you read for us what's the, uh, the metaphor for this song? Okay, so I can fly higher than an eagle. You are the wind beneath my wings. Okay, uh -huh. so what? Now that's the moment you gotta think about it, right? Yes. Hello, Frank. Hey, Frank. Frank is like the biggest fan of friends I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, he's super, super fantastic <laughs> and an amazing teacher. Hello, Tanja. Hi, okay. everybody. Okie dokie. So let me give an example of what, when you might say that something, somebody is the wind beneath your wings. Maybe, um, for example, you're studying for an exam and your grandma is being so good and sending lots of prayers for you and also cakes and coming over with great food and support and motivation. 
You could maybe say that granny is the wind beneath my wings. Oh, that's so cool. I, I, actually, I have thought about something in Portuguese that we say in Portuguese, but I don't think there is exactly a similar one in Portuguese. Guys, help me. What do you think? Hello, Jackie. Hi, Hello, everybody. Hello, Rafa, Rafael. Okay, so you gotta help me. We have to guess the meaning of wind beneath my wings, okay? Which is a song, and we are trying to learn that metaphor. Uh -huh. Hello, Gislaine! So cute when she says, okie dokie. Okie dokie. <laughs> I love okie dokie. I love okie dokie. Okie dokie, okie dokie. I love it. Yeah, it's definitely cuter than okay. <sighs> okie dokie. So, oh, now I already said it again. Okay, so here, this song is, did you ever know that you're my hero, right? You're everything I could never be. I can mm -hmm. fly higher than an eagle. You are the wind beneath my wings. Oh, that one is awesome. Uh-huh, absolutely. And what is it the, 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 that you thought of that was something similar in Portuguese? So I, I was thinking about it. Like, uh, I, I don't think we have uh, exactly... I, I think we would say... É alguém muito, muito especial para mim, muito importante para, bi, para mim, but not exactly the same way like in English, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. As, As coisas boas ventam meu favor. Mm. Ok. Hi, Frida. Fri Hello, Leite. 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 I, I, I can't say your name, sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute here. Here's my list. Okay. Ah, great. So, guys, what do you think? Let's go. Hello. Meu, Meu Porto, Porto seguro. seguro. This is a very good one. Uh -huh. Do you know right. that one in I've Portuguese? I've never heard this one before, but it, it makes sense, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Vandriani, you nailed it. Thank you. Because you, you are my, like... Porto Seguro, like uh -huh. we say in Portuguese, we say Porto Seguro, like the person that is always there with you, something like this. Yeah. In English, we can also say a person is, you are, this person is my rock or my oh. faith house. Yes, yes, my rock. You're uh -huh. right. Great. I okay. that. Great. So, great one. Well, so good. this one is That was yours. a hard one. Super. Yeah, a hard one. This one is a hard one. Lavinia, hey guys, how are you? Oh, Believer, I love that song. Yeah, I love me Believer. Too. Uh, 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 oh, eu tô viajando na minha nave, tava ouvindo Lady Gaga. I am daydreaming, sorry. Believer. Ah, okay. <laughs> Believer from the Imagine Dragons. From the Imagine okay. Dragons, yeah. So this one is, I'm the one at the sail. I'm the master of my COO. So, this is a great one. I, I, I really like this metaphor. I think it's, uh, it's lovely. So, any yeah. ideas, guys, what this one means? I'm the one at the sale. I'm the master of my COO. Hi, yeah, from and Sicily. His, wow. He starts like, don't you tell me what you think that I can be. Right? Mm -hmm. Don't you exactly. tell me what you think that I can be. I am... Uh, this song is very good. I'm the master yes. of my sea. Yes, and the first two sentences, you're right. These the, these sentences help with the with the general understanding of the of the metaphor. So don't tell me what I can be. I'm the one at the sail and the master of my sea. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Have you seen their their concert in Rock in Rio? No, but oh. I must watch it. It was awesome. Really. Fantastic. I've watched really, lots really of, uh, during the quarantine, I've lots, lo watched lots of concerts online, which is amazing. <laughs> I never considered watching a concert online. It's fantastic these, that everything is going online now. Hello, Fernando. I love it. I love it. Hello, Fernando. How are you? So I guess the metaphor here, actually, I think this is uh, plain because... I am the master of my sea. I decide everything, you uh -huh. know. I am 
uh, controlling everything. So exactly. Uh, that's the meaning of it. Come on guys, you got to help. Exactly. Us. I choose my what I want for my life and that's 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 the most important basically. Fantastic. Yeah. Okie dokie. So let's continue. This is okay. one of my favorite songs. It's an oldie from Waterfalls, Waterfalls from TLC. I don't know I if anybody here. remembers this one. Don't go oh, chasing I had to waterfalls. I had oh to really? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> Because Do you remember oh, and I, I really loved, I really loved, I, I gotta tell you before we tell everybody, I love that, that you find, you found exactly the same meaning in Portuguese, the same expression. Oh, great. This one you wrote, you wrote here. And I was like, uh -huh. oh, that's it. That's it. Perfect. Yes, I love, I love the, these classes are fantastic for my Portuguese as well as my students English because I'm always learning new expressions and then, then I, can, I can bring these into my class as well. So should we, should we say the, exp the expression in English and, and then okay. in Portuguese? Let's see, guys, do you have any idea like don't go chasing waterfalls, stick to the rivers and the lakes that you are used to? Okay, hello Beth. Beth Inglês na hora. She is an American teacher, blah. Oh, great. Beth. Hi yeah. Beth. We are gonna Maybe hopefully... Beth can help us with this one. I'm sure yeah. she remembers TLC waterfalls. <laughs> okay, so the meaning of it, okay? You can explain that in English and Portuguese, make a comment and we are gonna say if you're doing it right or wrong, okay? Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Come on. So don't, don't go, go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. So this might be some advice from, from grandma again or from granddad, maybe from the family. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Yeah, yeah. I, and I love this expression in Portuguese. So uh, maybe if it... Well, well guys, I'm going to say that. So... If I were in your shoes, I wouldn't go after something that you can't uh, reach, you know? Uh -huh. Maybe. Uh -huh. Could be it this is one, better. Definitely. Yeah, it is better for you to stay like where you are and doing what you're doing. Oh, we have a very, very good expression in Portuguese. Não se arrisque. Says uh -huh. What do you think, blog? No yeah, skip. absolutely. Yeah. We could say here for don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't do something that's dangerous. Don't do something that's going to cause you harm or something that's out of your comfort zone. Absolutely, Sassy. Great one. Very good, Sassy. And blah, she uh -huh. here. Nem tudo que brilha é ouro. I love it. Yeah, that's it. In Portuguese, we have that. So I like this example, one as well. Oh, th this expression, this idiom is very good in Portuguese, right? Nem tudo uh -huh. que brilha é ouro. So, don't go chasing waterfalls. Hello, Vera. Now you Hi, know Vera. that in English. Don't go uh -huh. chasing waterfalls. Perfect. Exactly. exactly. Next one. Next Let's one. Go. Here we go. Okay. Mm. So, this song is lots of fun. Uh, oh, yes. The first word is really hard. Um, um, ricochet. 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 Uh -huh. ricochet, you take your aim, fire away, fire away. You shoot me down, but I won't fall. I am titanium. Oh, this one is so classic. Trocado certo pelo duvidoso. Vandriani uh, is telling us about the chasing waterfalls. Uh -huh. Trocado certo pelo duvidoso. Yeah, we say that in, in Portuguese. Great. Okay. That one's very so, clear. Very, very good. Hello, Yassini. Hi. Okay, Hi, now I won't fall. I'm a titanium. I think everybody learned how to say that in English because of that oh, song. The song? Right? <laughs> yes, it was definitely overplayed a little bit. And I've definitely oh. had some great dance parties with this with I am Titanic. <laughs> For sure, same here. <laughs> okay, so what's the meaning of it, right? Uh -huh. I love this kind of songs, really. But in, so, guys, we're going to do that in Portuguese. 
and with Brazilian songs. But then uh, we were going to do actually both of them, like English and Portuguese songs, and Brazilian songs, sorry, in Portuguese. But then I told Blah, Blah, no way. But we have so There's, many yes. things in Portuguese. It's like impossible. Yes, everything's need, a metaphor. Yeah, everything's a metaphor. Yeah, exactly. And I was telling her, for example, I was thinking, okay, so let's start with how Seixas uh -huh. is the king of metaphors in Portuguese. Okay. But then you, you can choose just one song, like one song. Uh, yeah. You have like 30 songs and you know, it's impossible. Anyways. Yeah. He could have so, a life just for, just for this singer, right? Just for Raul. Just for Raul. And then like another one for Chico Buarque. Uh -huh. another, you know, like on and on and on yes. in Portuguese. I think... Actually, I think it happens because our language uh, makes it really possible, you know? Uh -huh. It's such a romantic language compared to English. Even we'll, we'll see a little bit further down. Maybe we'll do it for the next one. But I did a song that we have in English and in Portuguese. And in Portuguese, it's such a poetry. And in English, it's not so poetic. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of okay, you know? Yeah. <laughs> not so I romantic. Know. So, okay, Doggy, uh, we have some guesses here. This one I'm not sure of, Samu. Duro na queda. Is Duro it right? Duro na queda. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. per actually, I would say it is a perfect translation. Okay. Because it, well done, it means that. Ser duro na queda. I won't fall, you know? Yeah. Oh, of That's course. It. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I understand. Great. Nada and titanium is iron. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Entorto, mas não quebro, yes. Ok. I regret not studying Portuguese. Lavinia. Oh, It's not dear. too late. Not too late. No, Never. I've just been speaking Portuguese almost, almost two years. And I'm 29. It's never too late to learn a language. You should definitely. And are, are you from Sicily? If you're Italian, it's going to be an easy transition from Italian oh, to yes. Portuguese. That's true. That's true. Yes, duro is hard. Lavinia. Duro is hard. Yeah. Duro is hard. Exactly. So nice. I am titanium. I am hard. I'm a rock. I'm, 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 I'm strong. Okay, let's see if I can find this one very quickly of the example of... Oh, yes. So, in the girl from Ipanema. Well, <laughs> we, we say, olha que coisa mais linda e cheia de graça. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. And in English, we say... Tall and tan and young and lovely. <laughs> so it goes to show that we're not so romantic in the English language as, as you are in Portuguese. But this yeah. is a great one. And I, I love this because even before I knew what samba was, I knew what it meant to walk like samba. So uh, <laughs> let's see if, if we can get a translation from everybody here. What does it mean to walk like a samba? Oh, yeah, this one is very good, right? But um, when she walks, she's like Samba. Um, do you know that I think he translated, if I remember correctly, uh, he translated his songs into English, you know, because uh, in Portuguese, exactly like you said, they, they are like awesome. Uh -huh. Awesome lyrics and like, you know, everybody loves it. And in English... <laughs> yeah, the translation think, doesn't, it doesn't work so well because we, I think we don't speak in such a, in a beautiful, poetic manner that if we were to say like, look at this uh, thing that's so cute, it doesn't sound great in English. It sounds very square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I love Portuguese. I'm like... Me too. It's uh, the most beautiful language. For me, it happens the same. Big phone. Big phone? What do you mean? Big phone. Like when she walks, she's like a samba. Okay. Come on, guys. You've got to go. Oh, I was expecting a lot of answers for this one. I was thinking that there, a lot of people would have an idea of what it means to walk like a samba. <laughs> I need to finish him up in the ground floor. No oh, worries, no, Sassy. Don't do no it. worries. <laughs> yeah, do it later. Do it later. Stay here. 
Ok, let's see. Bruna, hello Bruna, how are you? Hi Bruna. Uh, carnaval. Oh, well, yeah. Maybe, I'm sure there's lots of people who walk like a samba in, in carnaval as well. Yeah. Do you, sure. do you walk like samba? I, I do for sure. Oh, great. <laughs> What do you think, guys? Come on, Meiji, Bruna. Ela arrasa, ela detona. What do you well, think, yes. Blanc? Yes, I agree. I agree. Uh -huh. We could say something like this. Yes, absolutely. Um, she's walking down the street and she's uh -huh, arrasando, absolutely. Ela desfila. We would say that in Portuguese too. Like a catwalk? Yeah, like a catwalk. Yes. Yeah, great. Ela desfila, you know? She's uh -huh. like, she has this thing. I recently watched, a, I, I recently watched a, a documentary about the girl from Ipanema. And she was talking, she was just a 17-year-old girl. She had no idea that this song was being written about her. So romantic. Yes, yes. I've seen that. Actually, I, I know the, the story about it. Uh, você é brasileiro? Como é que você é brasileiro e aprendeu inglês? Uh, uh, okay. Sorry. Rebolar, yes. Yes. Rebolar. Uh -huh. That's it. We say uh, we were waiting for challenge. you guys to answer it. Uh huh. There's Because, a little delay for the answers, probably. Yeah, totally, totally. Because we were waiting here, you know, like the tona has a desfila. Yes, rebolar. Uh -huh. It's a very, very good option. I don't think, uh, like, she's, like, she walks. Um, yeah, she's not she necessarily walks, shaking she's her. like a, a samba. When she walks, she's like a samba. I don't think it's, it is exactly rebolar. I think it's more, actually, this is my opinion, okay? As a Brazilian woman, maybe. I think it, this is more like uh, the way... Brazilian women walk. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's exactly this. Because we are different, you know? I feel like a, a robot compared to the Brazilian <laughs> women when I'm walking down the streets. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's a, it's, that's it's it. a, something special. Something specific to Brazil. Special. Totally. So uh, we say in, Ela in Brazil, we Ela say desfile. molejo. We say molejo. Okay. That Bra Brazilians have molejo, have which molejo. is like uh, it's a characteristic. Yeah, you know. I think it's like swag, right? Yeah, you have like swag. swag, like swag. We have swag. Yeah, that's it. Irish people that's don't it. have much swag, I think. Okay, <laughs> 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 uh, okay. I remember. So I remember. I remember, really well this one. I remember when I was in, in the U.S., uh, people would come and say, "Oh, you're from Brazil, right?" I was like, how do you oh know? Gosh, how? How do you know? Oh, I see the way you walk. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Different. It's <laughs> different. No, yeah, and it's 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 a sense of well, what I see is it's like a, a confidence that maybe women in other co co countries don't have in their feminine femininity, like here in Brazil. It's beautiful. Okay. Oh, thanks. I'm like, oh, I am the master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Of the ladies, of Samba. oh my gosh, <laughs> blonde and green eyes, yeah, totally, I'm kidding. No, but I really like to dance and I really like, you know, Brazilian stuff. I am yeah, so too. Brazilian, I'm really um, Brazilian. Yeah, I'm, I'm nearly Brazilian too, I'm trying my best. <laughs> you are, you are part of it already. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I think the, the samba one is, is, is clear as day, and we can move on to another one. So this one I really like. This one rem reminds me of you, actually, oh, um, yes. because I think you're a firework. So, oh, I love it. I uh -huh. love it, too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So th this, this is the, the question, guys. I'm saying that Carol is like a firework, and she's saying that, me too, I'm like a firework, because baby, you're a firework. Any ideas what this means? I love yeah. Katy Perry. I think she has great oh. uh, energy. I love her too. She, she was pregnant, wasn't she? She was maybe. pregnant. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't know if she is. 
still pregnant. Still. I, have I, no I saw idea. her in a live concert uh, and she was such a legend. It was obviously in Ireland, it's always raining and the weather is terrible. And she was wearing beautiful, amazing uh, clothes and she slipped on the, on the wet floor and she oh. got straight back up and she made the best concerts ever. Oh my God. Like, because you know, you think maybe, oh, you slip, you fall. It could be a, a, a difficult, awkward moment. Not at all. It was amazing. Oh she God. worked to her favor. I had no idea. Uh, yeah. Great. Uh, I've never seen her, but I wish I could. Robotic. Okay. No, não vi ninguém falando nada ainda. Okay. Baby, you're a firework. Mm -hmm. Come and show them what you're worth. Oh, I love Hi, Marcus. It. Make that come. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you can't read it without singing it. It's impossible. No, absolutely. Fernando, I think you're on to something. Uma pessoa iluminada, talvez. Você é Uma fogo. pessoa iluminada. Você é fogo. Você If you é say, fogo. Can you say this, Carol? You're a fire? Uh, I don't think so, because uh, você é fogo in Portuguese. I was thinking about that. Você é fogo, maybe you are like, you are not all about good. It can be a little oh, yeah. bit about bad, you know? Oh, bad okay, stuff. okay. Oh, you are something else, you know, something like this. I see, I see. Okay, so oh, maybe something in, naughty. I here. love imbatível. Imbatível. I think I've never heard this word before. What does it yeah, mean? Yes, it's like unbeatable, unstoppable. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You're a firework. Uh -huh. Firework, yes. Imbatível é maravilhosa. Amei, I love it. Emmanuel, very good. Uh, my followers and your followers now, too, they are really good with translations, you know? Oh, great. Really great. good at translating. Really good at translating. I, I mean it. And, and, and the amazing musica. thing is, it's not direct translations. It's good translations that we're seeing yes. here, which is fantastic. Katy Perry. Katy Perry, Perry. Uh -huh. uma pessoa explosiva, K Katy Perry, uh -huh. yeah, it's Very explosiva, good. Uh, but in a good way, okay, that's yes. the meaning of, of the song, full of energy, it's good energy, yes, because mm -hmm. in Portuguese, we say like, explosivo, você é fogo, and it can mean a bad thing, you like know? grumpy or, or yeah. angry, okay. okay, like stubborn, and you don't obey, the rules, you know, oh. you, você é fogo, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, makes more sense because a fire also doesn't obey the rules, yeah, that's it, very good, good guys, yes, Thank good you, vibes, Fernando. good vibes, oh, now I got it, uh, Great. Samuel entendeu. you got it, yes, it's not like you're a firework and you blow everything, no, <laughs> Exactly. You're a firework, you are awesome, you yeah. rock it, you slay. Oh, you slay, we're going to talk you about slay. that. Yeah, that's a great one. No Nordeste, eu falaria arretada. 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 Yes. <laughs> so would you say, one. ela é arretada? Ela é arretada. Yes. Okay, fabulous. Uh, but the, uh, I guess, eu acho que eu não falaria arretada. É porque eu sou de São Paulo, of course. Because uh -huh. I'm from São Paulo. But I know, but Brazil has like 10 different languages within the one language. It's great for, <laughs> for us people that are trying to learn. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say what people say. Mas as pessoas falam arretada de um modo geral, né? Okay. Depende de onde você é. Very oh, I good. love this song too. Okay, oh, so the I next... Th this one is, is mine. My, my yeah, song. this is your one. And I was so happy because this is an Irish singer. So Hi. I felt a little bit famous. We never have I uh, famous Irish people. So that was great. Um, yeah, this is a great one. Um, I, I actually never knew that these were the words of the lyrics until you sent them to me. And they're beautiful. Yeah, actually, I saw the lyrics once. Like my boyfriend showed the lyrics. But I, I didn't know. I was looking for like uh, metaphors and songs and I saw this example, Take Me uh -huh. to Church. And I was like, oh yeah, that song is awesome. Let me check it out. And then I saw this. She's and it's, it's interesting um, if you understand that in Ireland, uh, a funeral is a celebration. 
So maybe you might have one or two or three days of partying after a person dies in Ireland. So it's not always such a sad event like it would be in other countries because we really believe in celebrating the life of the people. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. It's great. I, that's one of the, really, the things I really like about Irish culture. I think it, it brings people together when they're very sad, you know. Oh, that's awesome. So you celebrate. And we celebrate. Like, awesome. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Hello, okay, so... Hello, Marise. Centro das Atenções. Uh, it's not that, Jackie. Não é esse o sentido. I don't know. Like... So, my lover's got humor. She's the giggle at a funeral. Knows everybody's disapproval. I should have worshipped her sooner. Hi, Marcio. Yes. Hello, Marcio. Hi, Marise. So, the... The metaphor is she's the giggle at the funeral. Mm -hmm. That's our metaphor. Let's work on it. And Let's a giggle see. is like a small laugh, you know, like. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've, do you know where, where I learned that? I've learned that with Harry Potter. Oh, like I love British Harry people. So much. Yeah, in British people, they use uh, exactly that verb a lot. Uh-huh. Giggle, uh -huh. right? Yes, absolutely. Much more than in Portuguese. I, I also think that, that that's related to the um, culture as well, because in, in England and Ireland, everything is less enthusiastic than it needs to be. <laughs> and then in Portuguese, it's always like you could say in Portuguese, like, I'm, I'm fantastic, I'm wonderful. But if you said, I'm fantastic, I'm wonderful, in the UK, maybe people would be saying, okay, maybe she's on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> you are okay. How are you doing? Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Not bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And in Portuguese, it's like, ah, to the joy. To the joy. A rua Seira, no, it's not that. Like someone who likes to go out and, you know, go to, pu go to pubs and bars and so on. Oh, okay, no, no worries. Debochada. Talking about LGBT people, no. Debochada? Mm, no. I, what is debochada? Ah, it's uh, someone that makes fun of you. you okay, know? no. She's making fun of you. No, it's not that, guys. No, it's not that meaning. Uh, do you want to explain, Blog? Yes, yes, it's yeah, causing lot, it's lots of confusion. <laughs> yeah, this one is hard. And it's not common. You wouldn't hear people saying this expression. It's quite unusual. So she's the giggle at a funeral is the idea that this is even in a terrible situation where you might be very sad. She will make you happy. She'll make you laugh. And she is the good thing. She is, you know, the bright side. <laughs> exactly. Yes. She's, a, she's a form of positivity in somebody's life. Ela é algo positivo, gente. Ela, mm -hmm. Então, she's the giggle at a funeral. Ela é o riso em um funeral, ok, Su? Sui. Ok? Então, ela é a risada do funeral. Então, significa, it means that she brings joy, you know? And she's uh -huh. something good. That's the meaning. É esse o sentido. And uh, you can understand, Sui, if you read the first phrase, my lover's got humor. Right, Bob? Mm -hmm. Exactly. My lover's got humor. She's funny. There She's is, there funny. Is, she has the characteristic of, of humor. Luz no fim do tunnel. Yeah, I guess yes. it could, she could be the light at the end of a tunnel. Absolutely. Yes, I agree. Great. Okay. I Achei que era no sentido irônico. No, it's not. It's not. Actually, I really love to learn that there is party when someone dies in Ireland, really. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So it makes sense, and they yeah. are Irish, and, uh, it makes total absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Autostral. The... Yes, autostral. Autostral. What, what is it? Uh, someone in a good spirit. Oh, great. I love yes. this. Autostral. In a good spirit. Autostral. Uh-huh. Yeah, this one I'll use, definitely. Mesmo em meio à tempestade, ela está sorrindo. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. Very good. Great. Okay. Next Great. one. Vamos para Let's go. Próximas. Let's go. Um, this one I really like. I, I had to uh, check on the internet this metaphor, so I wasn't sure myself. So if people don't get it, um, okay. we'll explain. 
I, I can I, actually I chose that one, right? Uh -huh. Hotel California. Uh, I I love this song. I explained the lyrics here on my Instagram. Ah, in a, in a, yeah, in a live class, but it was like a long time ago. Maybe Emmanuel was there, Ceci was there, Mady was there, and we were talking about that. And this song is like full of metaphors, like yes, it's basically hungry. one big metaphor, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it, and that's the meaning that we were, we are actually trying to tell you guys, Ellen. So, guys, do you know? I'd like to go to Ireland. Oh, so oh, you here. should visit definitely. I was. I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this year. Like, oh, I'm using Ghana go because I'm you. gonna go. I'm gonna. Let go. me come too. I miss Ireland. <laughs> if I can, if I can, of course. If yes, can, of course. if the, if the, oh if yes, have I have. I have possibilities the, of travel. I have the flight tickets now for uh -huh. two years to go in there. I so don't I, believe I got, you. Yeah. Because so, yeah, so I, I was going, going, I was going, but now because of coronavirus, I have yeah. the flight tickets. I have to go, right? So now absolutely, I go. absolutely. Me too. I was supposed to be going home, and because of the coronavirus, I'm still here. Luckily, we have a house and everything, so we were able to stay. But yeah. the, the coronavirus keep, keeping the, the the planes on the ground. Hopefully, we can travel by the end of the year. That would be oh, awesome. I hope so. Algo meio macabro, diabólico. Okay, something hellish. It's not hellish. It's not... Uh, actually, the song well, is kind of... Yeah, the song is kind of hellish, you know? Uh -huh. A história triste de Hotel California. Que até hoje não entendi se ele estava <laughs> drogado, perdido e sem destino. He was high good... for sure, Emmanuel, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think for the entire career, right? <laughs> As Tentações da Vida, that's it. Uh -huh. Samu Silva, yes. He's talking yes. about, actually he's talking about um, Hollywood. If you think about Hollywood, it may be, it may clear your mind like a Hollywood thing, you know. Everything is fake and uh, you uh -huh. shouldn't, temporary. temporary and you shouldn't chase that. Because it will disappear in a bit. Uh -huh. That's don't the meaning of Don't go chasing of the waterfalls. Song. Uh -huh. Yeah, don't go chasing water <laughs> waterfalls. Exactly. Shallow. Yes. Yeah, it could be shallow. Shallow. Definitely. That's and you think of like, such a lovely place, such a lovely face, but yeah. that's not, not nothing deeper than that, right? Mm -hmm. Shallow. Very good, Emmanuel. Muito bom. Uh, shallow. Uh, tem a ideia da música também, né? Ladies Gaga song. Uh -huh. You're far from the shallow. Oh, now. yes. I was, I, I thought about that, but I was like, oh my gosh, no. I can't yeah. stand that song again. Yeah, I, and it's a hard one to, to talk about. It's a lot, uh, there's a lot of crying going on, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so Hotel California, the entire song. Stole it exactly. about being in this Hollywood stuff where money goes like, Everything is about money and appearance. What else? And I don't know. Yes, and it's like it's like a stay in a hotel. It's not permanent. So in by the end of your 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 holiday, you have no money. You're probably fatter, and you're a bit sad to go home, right? Yeah, and you're broke, and <laughs> exactly, you're broke, and you're it's going back to mom's yeah. house. Yeah, it's not <laughs> worth it. That's the meaning of the song, right? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If so you have another one of, of yours here, Carol, um, oh, which I, I love. Um, oh, sugar. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Absolutely. I loved this one. I wanted to actually show all of the song because there's lots of uh, metaphors related to sweetness and sugar and things. But um, this is all the space we had, so... <laughs> Oh, uh, such a lovely face. Uh, um rosto tão bonito. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sui? Like uh -huh. about your looking. Okay, your looking. Yeah, beautiful face. Beautiful face, but it means nothing by the end of the day, you know? Yeah, it's not a metaphor. Uh, well, it is. It's a metaphor for Hollywood, I guess. Um, and what about this one? Your sugar... Yes, yes please. please. I love that one. Oh my gosh. 
Nee, uh, actually, uh, uh, I know how to play this one. But it's oh, hard. really? Yeah. I can imagine it's hard. Maybe we can, we can definitely put this into uh, one of our, our future lives. For sure, for sure. With some singing, we can get some people to sing along as well. Oh, yes. This one is too hard to sing. <laughs> yeah, this one's really hard. Good, yeah, Maroon yeah. 5 are, are, are amazing singers and they sing really high. Drugs, money, really high. you name it, Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> you name it, he's got it. Pensei que fosse uma expressão. No, it's not. Actually, it's not. Actually, Hotel California is like... It's like one big... Oh my gosh. It's like a history, you know? Like a for real a story that he tells about something and you go on and on and on and on and you go like oh my gosh these lyrics they just don't end you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> i remember when i when i saw it like first time hotel california and it was like oh my gosh it's just nine lovely. minutes singing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a hard one, definitely. That's why we can song. talk about it. Sorry, guys. Uh, Adosar a vida. Mm. Okay. okay. We can say it. We can say it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Adosar a vida. It, it has two meanings, right, Blah? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think so. Because when you say something, when you say sugar to someone, for example, my boyfriend... And you say that to your boyfriend. You, we can use that like honey, like... Uh, sweetie. Darling, sweetie, uh -huh. yes. But more like a cute way, right? Like uh, honey. Yeah. And then I think that's uh, his intention, like sugar, you know? Tudo que eu preciso é de você para adoçar o meu dia. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's, that's lovely. I like it, yes. Uh -huh. You should write a I song. I need Emmanuel. a little sweetness in my life. That's it. Yes. Yes. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I saw But, a debate on the on the um, on a forum about metaphors. So there's a debate going on about whether sugar is is related to sex or if it's related to love. So I'm going to go for the love. I think it's love. <laughs> But there's a few choruses in there that maybe aren't so loving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, for example, want to come and put it down on me? We can understand in a sex way, you know? It, yeah. It can be sexy or not. Or not, yes. yes. It can be about sex or not. So it's up to you, actually. Yes, exactly. It's But the, sugar and sweetness, it's totally about, like, Loveliness. Exactly. Adoçar. We say that in Portuguese, actually. Né? About a, 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 a person. Meu dia. Adoçar a minha vida. Um We use amor. that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Preciso de um pouco de amor na minha vida. Perfect, exactly. Jackie. That's yeah, it. That's exactly what he's saying. Perfect. Great. Good one, guys. This well is another done. one that uh, I love, but it's hard to sing because Adele has oh. a really strong voice. Um, I think we were talking about Adele the last time you told me she's really hard to uh, understand, right? Adele? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, she is. When yeah. she is speaking, actually, because yeah, when, she's when she's singing, singing. okay. Uh, yeah. Sex or love, Samu? Love. About... Oh, yeah, sex or love. Yeah, because we read it and there is a delay, for sure. Sempre yes. tem o delay, né? Uh -huh. uh -huh, uh -huh. Sex or love. Uh, I love Adele. Me too. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. But really, really hard to sing. <laughs> really hard to sing. She's amazing. I love her songs. Um, all of her songs. Um, if you're in the car and her, one of her songs comes on, it's always a great time. Um, yes. If nobody can hear you, right? Because if someone can hear you, it's probably not a great time for the other people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And lots of metaphors, like Adele. Yes, she's so romantic. So romantic, yes. Uh -huh. So, uh, and actually our, our metaphor is here. Who would have known how bittersweet this would taste? Oh, uh, we can't see the last part. That's very important. This would taste. Let me put it here. 
Oh, no, I can see it. I can. Oh, you can see it? I can, I okay. can see it, yes. Preciso de alguém como você do meu lado? Uh, what are you talking about, Emmanuel? Someone like you? Na, na música Someone Like You? Let me know. Nothing compares, no worries or cares, regrets and mistakes. And so, when something is memory made, this is an expression, right, Blah? Exactly. It's, like, uh -huh. uh, it's the end. It's in the past. You know, exactly. it's memory made. So, and then you can understand better, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, okay. De, no sentido de que você precisa de alguém como, como a pessoa do seu lado? Mm, uh, actually, it's not like that. So, yeah, so maybe I'll sing another bit of the song, right? So it goes like this. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you, too. <laughs> Quem diria que você é meu tudo? What do you é think, Carol? É meu tudo. Carol? Uh, então, Jaque, so, let me explain, guys. Bittersweet, bittersweet, uh, that's the thing. Here, we can understand, like, uh, if, we, if we consider the word taste... We can understand like agridoce in Portuguese, okay. which is, uh, so that's why I love Adele, because that's the thing. Bittersweet can be like melancholic or something, you know, painful, uh -huh. the word uh, bittersweet, but it is also about agridoce in English. And then she uses taste, which is sentir o gosto, right? So, you can understand both ways. That's why I exactly. use this one. Yeah, this one's well, a great one. Yes, partir o meu coração ou me deixar. Alguém sabe quão controverso, yes, quão controverso, quão melancólico, triste, é essa ideia. It would exactly. be. But uh -huh. then she uses like bittersweet, something that it's not really good. It doesn't taste good, you know? So it's mm -hmm. bittersweet. Actually, I have this opinion. I'm always like, <laughs> I love to translate songs and be like, I guess that's what she meant. And it's yeah, not, I guess this is what she was thinking when she wrote this song. And it's about him. And I know, yes, me too, me too. <laughs> no, but I, I, I think here, when she uses taste, that's the idea. Yeah, Because absolutely. Because otherwise she was going to say, uh, how bittersweet this would be. Exactly. Right? Am I right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's, it, it's like, even in English, we can say if something happens that's um, displeasing, you can say like, it left a bad taste in my mouth. You know, this conversation left a bad taste in my mouth. So she's saying that maybe that's something good came out of something bad, but she still has the taste there. It's still kind of hanging in the air. Yeah. So yeah, you're absolutely right. I, uh, I think so. Adele. <laughs> yes, me. Adele, are we right? Answer our questions. Come to our I lives. Me, I can translate your songs <laughs> into yes. Portuguese. I can help you. <laughs> That's uh -huh. the idea, guys. So... Um termino, or like in France, they're on a break. Yes, they're on a break. It was not a break. <laughs> We were on a break. I love that. E isso, sentindo esse doce amargo, é exatamente yeah. essa ideia. Mm -hmm. Something that is not so good, so, right? I can taste that. Perfect. Exactly. Uh, and actually, I think that's cool because... It gives you like a sensation, you know, when she says, how bitter yeah. sweet this would bitter taste. Bitter sweet. And then you go like, yes, I, I yeah. agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can almost taste it, right? Yes, that's it. I okay, think. this is another one from you. I, I, I love this song so much. I love this song. And you know, I was actually for this live, guys, I was reading about it because I was like, I love this song and I have to understand once and for all Wonderwall. 
I had to also check. I wasn't sure. <laughs> but I, I sing this song all the time. I never <laughs> stop to think, what does it mean? I've never heard this word before, Wonderwall. And I, it, it was never used again after this, uh, after yeah. this song. Yeah. Actually, I think it was just for the song, you know? Yeah. yeah made yeah. for the song, maybe. Poetic license. Uh, só quem provou o gosto amargo sabe o sabor que tem. About bittersweet, this would taste. Uh, blah. Sim. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. É isso aí, Marise. You got yeah. it. Yeah. Vocês entenderam. Exactly. You got the meaning. It, she, she's giving something for us to, to also agree with, to also, we've had this feeling before, right? Yes. Okay, so what so about the wonder wall? wall? I love this now. I feel like I should add it to my vocabulary now that I understand what it means. It's lovely. Oh. And it makes sense if you think about it. Wall, wonder. Mm -hmm. So Jack is telling us, apesar de tudo, você é minha fortaleza. Jack, mm -hmm. very good. Exactly. Yeah, you got it. Uh-huh. So yeah. it's so somebody that you admire, somebody that you're looking at that you think is amazing. You can't stop paying attention to this person and this person is is there to help you no matter what you know so and uh i was reading that people would say that he wrote this song for his girlfriend you know something like this that he he wrote i also read this <laughs> did you read that that he wrote uh to his girlfriend like uh, a love song but then It wasn't actually, uh -huh. but he said that like 20 years after, <laughs> you know. Yeah, the the media made an uh, the media made an assumption that the song was about his girlfriend, but it was about a fictional character, right? And then he had to tell his girlfriend, okay, yes, you were the inspiration, because imagine you can't say, oh no, it wasn't, it wasn't her, <laughs> it, it it wasn't for you, sorry. <laughs> It was for an imaginary girlfriend that I have in my head. No, that wouldn't be very nice. Poor girl. Oh, poor girl, yes. <laughs> Apesar de tudo, você é minha fortaleza. Jaque is perfect. Exactly. I, I couldn't have said better. Like, fortaleza. Mm -hmm. We say that. Porto seguro, yes. No, no final das contas, você é meu porto seguro, meu suporte. Meu suporte. Uh, someone, and, and there is th this thing about admiring the person, yeah. you know? About Wonderwall. I didn't know that, actually. No, me neither. I was neither. like, oh my gosh. I, I knew the translation. Like, ah, você é minha fortaleza, meu porto seguro. But I, I didn't know the meaning of Wonderwall. Uh -huh. Me neither. That. Me neither. I had to like, find it in the Urban Dictionary. Oh, oh same here. <laughs> the best. I love this dictionary. Really uh, yeah, nice. me too. Urban, Urban I often urban have to check, dictionary. am I speaking English correctly? I'm not sure. And I check the Urban Dictionary. I know this is not a word. I should not use this. <laughs> yes. And that are slangs and everything yeah, there. It's great. Oh, it's great. You should check it out. Uh, Isa, I love this song. Well, same here, Isa. I really, yeah, really lovely. love this song. After all, actually, Oasis, very, very hard to understand, to sing To translate the yeah. lyrics, right? Blah, what yeah. do you think? Mm -hmm. oh yeah, because I, I think this, uh, these indie type bands, they, they, they have, they speak a lot, of, I guess they use a lot of slang and a lot of, well, metaphors. And I think a lot of the, the like they are storytelling in a way, but in a very specific way to their hometowns, I think. So it makes it very difficult for people to yeah. uh, understand what they're talking about. And they are, they are from Australia, right? I don't remember. Or England. Oasis, let me see. I think they're from England. Let me see. England, right? No, yeah, yeah, England, England. Yeah, English rock band formed in Manchester in 1991. Mm -hmm. Okay, so harder. <laughs> Mais difícil. After all that we've been through, yes, okay, good. Hello, Neto. Mm -hmm. Ok, England. England, yeah, Marisi. Uh -huh. Thank you, sorry. Achei que era, não sei porquê. Anyways, hard let's accent. Go. Ok, let's move on. Halo. Ok, this is I a great love... one. I didn't even think of this song, Carol. This was a great one. I love this song. Well done. So, Halo. Oh, let, let me ask you something. I guess our life class is gonna end 
Oh, yeah, true. And if I were in your shoes, I think we should, like, come back. You okay. stop right here uh -huh. for, you, for you to save our video, you know? Okay. At least in your stories. Mm -hmm. And we'll come back and we'll do two or three more because we have lots. And then the rest we can bring to our, our next live, hopefully, if yes, we have another one in the future. For sure. Okay, so, so I'm going to hang up blames. and I'm going to restart again, okay? Okay, deal. Okay, bye, guys. guys. Então, beleza, See you soon. Pessoal? Come a, back. A Lua vai, vai terminar e voltar.